Welcome back. Okay, as I promised now, we're going to have all these different scenarios on this uh, GM bypass ignition system. Uh, this would be like diagnostic tips. All right, let's go through them here. Now, keep in mind, I have a P0336, or at least I did have it. So, imagine you have this car. You know how the system works now. So, give me some of your thoughts and tell me what you think, uh, what you would do. Let's look at number one. Now, if the crankshaft position sensor does not generate either the 18X or the 3X sync crank signals, the engine will not start. There will be no spark and there will be no fuel injector, injector pulses. Both signals are needed at startup. In the previous video, I saw in the service literature, it said no fuel injector pulses, dug a little bit deeper. Turns out you're not gonna get any spark either. Number two, now, if you have the crank sh uh, shaft three uh, position sensor, three X sync pulses stop while the engine is running. The engine will keep running. However, when you turn off the engine, it will not restart. Okay. All right. Number three, if the crank shaft position sensor eighteen X pulses stop while the engine is running. The engine will stop running and will not restart okay so you remember we have those two uh, two uh, signals coming off of the uh, crankshaft position sensor so if you lose the 18 X pulses while you're going down the highway your engine is going to stop right then and then after that it is not going to restart where on the 3 X sync pulses the uh, engine will keep running however once you turn it off it ain't going to start so both of those scenarios, one uh, engine to keep running, uh, then uh, and, and then the other one, you know, it's going to stop the engine while it's running. When you turn it off, in both cases, the engine's not going to start. Now, number four, if the 18X reference signal is not received by the PCM while the engine is running, a DTC P0336, that is me, will be set and the 3x reference will be used to control spark advance under 1200 rpm and then bypass mode will be in effect at under 400 rpm the engine will continue to run and start normally okay now if you lose the 3x reference signal and it's not received by the pcm while the engine is running the pcm will then start using the 18x reference pulses to calculate rpm and crankshaft position the engine will continue to run and start no normally, but then you'll get a P1374 code. And the last one down on the list is a poor engine performance and possibly a mill with no DTC can be caused if the reference low circuit is open or connected to ground at the PCM. All right, let's take a look, a quick look at the, uh, came right out of the uh, service literature here. This is going to be what you're going to see on this um, P0336. First, you want to look at the circuit description. The 18X reference signal is produced by the ignition control module. Well, we knew that. The PCM uses the 18X reference signal to calculate engine RPM and crankshaft position at speeds below 1200 RPM. Okay, we knew that too. Now the PCM constantly monitors the number of pulses on the 18X reference circuit and it compares the number of 18X reference pulses to the number of 3X reference pulses and the cam signal pulses being received. If the PCM receives an incorrect number of pulse pulses on the 18X reference circuit, then P0336 will set and then the PCM will start using a 3X reference signal circuit for fuel and ignition control. The engine will continue to start and run using the 3x reference and cam signals only. So what is it that's going to actually uh, this running the DTC? What well, that pretty much means that uh, you got to have this condition which will make the uh, the computer in enable condition to be able to set that code. So the only thing that's got to happen is that the engine is running and it and the uh, 3x re uh, reference pulses are being received by the PCM. What is going to set it? Here's the things that's going to set it. The ratio of 18x reference pulses to 3x reference pulses received by the PCM does not equal 
6 to 1. The ratio of 3x reference pulses to cam signal pulses received by the PCM equals 6 to 1. And then these conditions are present for 290 out of 300 test samples. I'm sure this, these samples are talking about how many crank revolutions. I couldn't find any information on that. And this, uh, but it's not really important, you know, far as for us to figure out what's going on. And then what's going to happen when the DTC sets? Well, it's going to illuminate the mill during the sec second consecutive trip in which the diagnostic test runs and then it fails. So you'll get this in the first run, but you're not going to get a mill. Then it's going to run a test again in the second trip, and then that's when you're going to get the meal to come on. And of course, with all DTCs, it'll pretty much it'll store the freeze frame and the you know the fail records in there in the scan tool when you go to look at it. Okay, so the action taken with the DT sets. Uh, so we've already got that, and so we already know it's going to use the 3x reference signal. And if you actually have uh, traction control, it's going to actually disable that too. So that'll turn that on and the traction light uh, will actually illuminate. That actually may have come on on me because I do have this feature, but I, I really don't remember, but I'm sure that it probably did and I didn't notice it. And of course, we already know about the freeze frame. Now, one of the things I want you to look at, of course, you could have an intermittent, right? If you look over here on the right-hand side, faulty connections, okay, so we got that. Damage harness, okay, so respect that. Uh, so it tells you about looking at the 18x reference signal with a uh, meter, okay. Misrouted wiring harness, okay, so we're looking at that. Here's one, a malfunctioning ignition coil. So to remove the ignition coils and the ignition control module looks for cracks, carbon tracking, other signs that indicate that the coil secondary circuit is arcing to the ICM, okay. Uh, ignition wires all can to the wiring harness okay that can be picked up by the ICM and so basically this part right up in here the reason that would happen is that if you have some leaking high voltage secondary voltage and it gets uh, leaking out through the air then it gets picked up by the harnesses here where the ICM is at then you know you can induce a voltage in there and then that will count as a pulse so you remember we got to have 18 of these pulses per crank uh, you know rotation you throw in them you know a few more pulses on there because of this here well you know computer doesn't know all it knows is that the ratio is not six to one you know between the uh, 18x reference pulses and the 3x reference pulses so anyway there you go now you know everything I know about this system guys so now you can think about it uh, tell me what you would do all right so you know would you change a crank uh, sensor would you Change out the ICM, change the computer, or, you know, what would you do? So anyway, guys, this uh, this will be a little short one here, so I don't want to take up a lot of you guys' time. So y'all think about that, and then throw, put your thoughts together, and uh, just let me know what you think. All right, you guys take care.